Greetings! Welcome back to State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition. I'm Destructive Intuition. Let's just get back into it. Right, so... Everybody's pretty healed up now. Now, I think I'm going to move base. Um... Right, so we're going to move to this location here. Rusty Rosie. Rusty Roses. That's where we're moving to. So we'll take some equipment with us. Because I know that I'm going to have to do a clear out. Because it's going to be infested with zombies. Yes. Right, yeah. Lovely. I like me little stubby shotguns. Beautiful. Especially for zombie splatting. Hola, Nothing man. better than a zombie. Right, you're coming with me. How's life treating you? Right, you're enlisted, woman. Let's get moving. Let's go and get our new base. Oh. Well, apparently I don't have enough... Um, enough influence. Right, we'll sell a few bits then, I think. Lovely, right. Let's go and find our trader friend. Our wonderful neighbours. Been very helpful. Let's uh, let's go and trade some bits and pieces. Get the uh, the money up, <laughs> the influence up, and then we can finally move into our new base. Now I don't know if I'm moving base a little bit too early, but ah, why not? It's fun. Let's see. It's not like the first playthrough where. Everything was sort of rushed, but at the same time, I didn't really know what I was doing. I still don't know massively everything that I'm doing. You know, there's still so much to learn, but I'm on the right tracks. I know enough to hopefully successfully move into a new base without it causing too much issues. Like what happened in the last uh, game. And also, I have a decent amount of survive, um, a good amount of survivors. In my community. In the past playthrough, I, went, I hey had too many people I in. Right. Trade. You. Yes. I'll trade with you. Would you like some of this? Yeah, you have all of this stuff. Let's see how much influence I get for that. Let's have a look. Lovely. Right. We're on it. That was lucky. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't have to be too much. I wasn't running around this whole episode trying to uh, get my influence up so that I am able to move into the base that I want to. I wanted to get into the base as early as possible. Oh, there's Big Bob. Hello, Big Bob. Oh, Slidey. I do prefer this vehicle. I, w I am going to grab more vehicles. Right, thread the needle. Thread the needle. Oh, God. I threaded it, but I was going really bloody slow. <laughs> So of course I was able to thread the needle. I think driving is just something that you just sort of get better at as you learn the game. See, the biggest mistake I'm making at the moment, really, is that I'm playing too many games at one time. So I'm finding that, you know how you get used to the controls of a certain game? And then when you play a new game afterwards, you kind of have to re... Like, the muscle memory, you have to try... You have to get back out of that situation and you tend to find yourself pressing buttons from the old game that you've just finished in the new game to make like the map come up when that's not the map button you know what i mean we've all been there so yeah i do have a little bit of that going on um and also it does make it harder to sort of follow what's going on with the game perfectly but you know i'm doing my best and so far i think it's working out fine i'm getting better at things I mean, with YouTube, I'm getting better as well. If you watch my earliest YouTube videos... Right, where are you, zombies? Is there any zombies in here that I need to clear out? Right, now, I remember this little room from my last playthrough. That was the one that I couldn't find. I was running around like a headless chicken, trying to unlock the place. I think I literally spent the whole 30-minute episode running round and round and round this base, telling stories of my childhood about the time when I, uh... Me and my friend used to play chicken with a combine harvester in the back... in the field behind my house. <laughs> Whimsical childhood moments. 
Right, let's uh, let's open everywhere up. Doesn't seem to be any zombies this time round, so that's nice. Here we go. Could have probably gone the quicker way, but never mind. <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. Beautiful. Oh, we've got daylight as well, so that's nice. I was a little bit worried about that. Now, I did do a little bit of playing. I played about probably 15 minutes of this um, before... I did the up uh, before I started recording just because I wanted to collect some more materials and just, you know, like I was worried that hello, fellow survivors. Do you like your new home? I hope so. Right, lovely. Look at all that stuff. Let's build our infirmary. Let's get this, uh, repair it back into action. Failed Cleo. Yeah, I remember you from last one. I don't think I, I had the right uh, abilities last time. Beautiful. Okay, now let's do some infestations. I'm in the mood for infestations. Yes, I am. Yes, indeed. Gonna take the old Molotovs. Where are you? Now, I want to try and use some firecrackers, too, this time round. For diversions. Lovely! Right, four of them. Beautiful. I can't let that bloater get close. I'm going to leave um, my little follower behind. Just because I don't want to die in. <laughs> right, dismiss! You're dismissed! You are not needed for this particular mission, I am afraid. Oh, look at that lovely uh, morning dew in the air. Beautiful. Right. Put some fuel in. Might as well. Why not? Just one less thing to worry about. You know how it is. Right. Beautiful. Let's get moving. Now, I think I might do a few infestations, actually, in this uh, episode. Because, as someone uh, noted in the comments, that yeah. your people will be much happier the more infestations that are dealt with. And also, if you don't keep on top of them, you get into a bit of a mess with it. So really, I want to do a bit of whack-a-mole. Play a bit of whack-a-mole so, with it all. So every time one pops up, try and get it down ASAP. Um, Any ones that do pop up, uh, if they pop up saying, like, Maybe threes at the most, but I don't really want to then get above sort of three at any one time. Just because they do affect morale. Oh, this is a beautiful area. Look at this. It's a shopping precinct. Do a bit of sneaky sneaks. We got a Dewey's. I wonder what Dewey's sells. Mountain Dew, perhaps. Who knows? Right. Fire in the hole! You come see what this is, my zombie f amigos. And then when you're all surrounded it, I'm going to Molotov you. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's the plan. Hello? Anyone? Oh, where's this infestation? What's happening? Why, why isn't anybody... Oh, well, you're no good. Where did you come from? You're not even part of the infestation, you git. You don't see me. You stop it. No, I'm in from you. I'm sneaking. Oh, damn you. Right. Hatch it to the head. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Look at that. Now you come out. Oh, right. You're going to get blown up. <laughs> or firebomb, should I say. Yeah, can you stop? I, unless you're screaming in intense agony due to the fire that I'm haphazardly chucking at you. I don't want to know. No screamers. <laughs> They're buggers, they are. Right, I think I'm... Oh, bloody hell. Don't you sneak up on me. Chop you up. Chop you up nicely. Yes, indeed. Oh, that one's got a hoodie on. Hello, hoodie zombie. Hope you're not a real human, because if you are, well, you're dead now. Your eyes weren't glowing. Or was they? That, that one's eyes were glowing differently. They were a lot more, like, brighter and yellower. Very unusual. So who are you? Are you someone that's only just being infected? I have no clue. I have no idea about these matters. Right, what we got? Um, yeah, we'll grab them. 
can work with this. Oh, yes, lovely. Exterminators. Materials for everyone. Oh, that might be, yeah. Uh, good. It's a little way, way away, though. Don't get sneaky. Will you try my tactic? Had you been watching me? Yes, I bet you had. Right, I parked the car a bit far away, but that was for a reason initially. My whole plan of luring the zombies out. God knows why it took them so long to come out for. That was a bit annoying. In hindsight, I probably should have thrown another firecracker. And then... Um, waited to see if they come out then. Cheeky, look at that. Naughty. You naughty zombie. You get smashed now. Yes. Right. Let's uh, upgrade that. God, they're everywhere. Leave me alone, will you? Give me that. <laughs> I'll take the plague from you, though. Yes. Don't want you touching me, but I'll have your plague. Right. Blimey, three popped up. God, we, we're whack a mole in today. I'll come back and collect the rest of the materials from that other one. Um later. I just want to get them cleared out now. That seems... Oh, look at that stop sign. <laughs> Thread the needle. Yes, look at that. Oh, I'm getting... I'm, I'm like Nigel Mansell. Anyone that doesn't know, he's a race car driver. Or he was. I think he drove a Renault. Uh, come on. This one does have a better turn in, uh, turn in circle than the other... The other tank thing that I had, the, the car of doom, but the big issue with this one is the whole reason it has a really good turning circle is because it just slides. <laughs> it skids around those corners. Right, so we've got six. No, why? You don't know I'm here. That's it. You go and see what that is. No, no, you stop screaming. I will make you scream. You burn. Burn. Oh, I hate it. they're all spread out. I hate it when they're all spread out. See, that's the beauty of using the um, Molotovs. The Molotovs are brilliant for hordes when they're properly hoarding together. The only trouble is the Molotovs don't burn for very long. I mean, they do if you get like a direct, direct hit on them. Now, if you sort of throw it just a bit short. Right, we'll, we'll go to this one too. Uh, oh, that's the number three, that is. Oh, that, this one might be a bit of a harder one. I didn't actually pay attention to what the numbers was on the other ones. So perhaps uh, perhaps it's not the hardest one of the day. We shall see. Tally-ho! On the way! At least it's nice and close. Thread the needle! Yes, look at that. Oh, I'm a little sewing genius. What are you doing up on the roof? I don't think I've ever... Oh, there's ten. Yeah, bloody hell. This one is a bad one. I'm going to climb up on my car. If you're up on the roof, we'll all do some climbing today. Here you go. Are you going to get off that roof and come and see? Ow. Is that a glitch? I've got a feeling that they're glitched out on the roof. Oh, that's going to be fun then, isn't it? So they're just basically going to completely ignore my firecrackers. God damn it. That was not a good throw. How am I doing? Oh, I've only got one left. Blimey, this is not the place to have just one firebomb left. Don't know what they're doing up on that roof for. What are you doing up there, you gits? You come down here now. You face me. Oh, get off me. Oh, no, you shut your dirty mouth. Filthy mouth you have. Where's the soap? Oh, wow. <laughs> they're, they're, I don't quite know what happened there, but they're all dead. Awesome. Well, no, you're obviously not dead, are you? Because because why would you be? There always has to be one, doesn't there? Always. You can never just let me just win. <laughs> let me win, game. Get off my door. Right, you're going to get scraped be there. Scraped you nicely, didn't I? Yes, I did. Let's go and see. I'm not doing too good on Molotovs, but let's go and have a look at this one anyway and see what we've got here. We're in some sort of like industrial, some rural industrial area. Some crash lorries there. Don't know what that's all about. 
Maybe it's the beginning of uh, Resident Evil 2. That was that's right, isn't it? That game they at the beginning cutscene, it was like, like a truck drive, weren't it? No, he's like, no, don't you start screaming. You're going to get my rear end. At least it doesn't affect the driving ability when they scream. It's so annoying when you're running at them. You're like, come on, I need to get them. Can you get off my truck? Scrape you up. Yes, yeah, scrape you nicely. Yeah, when uh, when you're running at them and they start screaming. And they scream before you get a chance to smack them. Because really you want to take them out first. So, oh, bloody hell, that was, that was a hard hit. It's all right, though. We don't mind. This car seems to be able to take quite a bit of damage, actually. Is that you? Oh, I see him. You little git. You come here. Oh, come here. Why are you... Why are you immune to my back... To my back rearing? Lovely. Right. Well, that seems to be... All of them taken out. Is it? I think it is. Nice. Let's go and see what this thing here is, anyway. We have a quest, a uh, exclamation mark. I'm sure that's something very important that we must exclamate <laughs> about. Might as well do it whilst we're in this area. I'm sure it'd be good for something. I mean, it would definitely be good for uh, points. Not quite sure what this one is. Let's have a look, see what they want. Oh, look, it's got a Christmas wreath. Nice. Calm down. Oh, I like your gun. You've got the Terminator shotgun. Right, learn about Survivor. What the heck do you think you're doing? Man, Greg can be a real hard ass. I just want to, like, what you got and go home, you know. Hasta luego. You're, you're Greg. You're the one I need to be talking to. Right, you look like you can use a hand. Cut me in and I'll try help. Looks heavy, but I'd be happy. We'll leave this for a minute, and we'll come back here. Let's get back to the car, back oh, to base. Sounds like that sounds like a good idea for now. Hell. And we've still got a lot of equipment that we need to pick up. Get off my door! Now, if they're on there too long, I know that they can rip your door off. And then you don't have your door as a handy weapon, so we'll just bash into a sign. That's one way of doing it, isn't it? I'm happy we got rid of all the infestations anyway. That's definitely a bonus. Bonus for this uh, for this episode. See, I like every episode that I do, I like to try and get um, like an, a, new, a, a number of things done. I basically sort of plan the episode out, what, what it is that I want to achieve before starting. So then that way, at least I have some sort of direction. Whereas prior, when I was playing it previously, I never had any direction. Because I didn't really know what I was doing. So I was kind of hoping that the game would point me in the direction that I needed to go. But obviously, it's not that sort of game. It's not a handholder. No, sorry, Bob, it's not. No. Well, there's not many places around here to see. I can't see yeah. the gun reticle. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't see the gun reticle for a second. Because obviously it's a shotgun. It's got a really, really wide reticle. And it was confusing me <laughs> for a minute or two. I do need to go to the uh, opticians at some point. Because um, my left eye is not, it's not doing too good at all. I've got to the point now where if I shut my right eye, my left eye is just blurred out completely. It's bad. Really bad. And I am starting to find that it, I'm starting to struggle to read some of the, Oh, no. Well, at least you got splatted against the wall. That's something. Right. How did that not get you? That should have gotten you. Oh, bloody hell. Thread the needle. There. That's it. Oh, threaded the needle. Poorly. <laughs> I must admit. But still, the needle got threaded, and that's the main thing. Home we go to our new base. I've not even been there two seconds, so it doesn't feel like a nice homely base. What was it? Something roses. Right, how are we doing for time? Oh, 20 minutes. This game, the time goes so fast. 
Like I've said before, it's not the sort of game you want to sort of play half hour at a time with. It's the sort of game that really you want to sort of spend eight hours playing it. <laughs> but um, but what I've, what I've decided to do is things like the boring stuff, like just resource collecting and looting and things like that. I've decided to do that off camera and then just stick to like doing the building, the missions, that sort of thing. Right, how are we looking? Right, put our workshop in. Poor old Max, he's ever so exhausted. You've done well, Max, though. You've done ever so well, me old friend. Right, put these bits in. You know the drill by now. Beautiful. Let's get you into bed, good sir. We'll make you climb in the hard way. <laughs> Being as you're not tired enough yet. And we'll swap to... What mission? Ah, we'll abandon it anyway. Plus one bed. We can break this apart. Okay, we'll do that. Because that will hopefully build a space, uh, create space, so I can build something better, something new. Oh yeah, you need to, uh, you need to be treated, good sir. You're not doing too well, are you? You can have a good old sleep in the infirmary whilst you're there. Plus 25. We'll have to upgrade that at some point. We're going to put beds in these ones. Probably won't get time to do it this episode. Oh yes, mods. What do we got? Oh, 50% food yield. That would really help a lot. Right, whilst that's building, I'm going to go and uh, have a look next door. Might as well just see what we can loot. Do a little bit of looting whilst we're waiting for things to, uh, to build. That's probably a good thing to do. Also, I'm nice and close to the home base, so hey, if the episode... Uh, well, it's... Yeah, the episode's not going to be many, much longer now. It's, we're nearly up to half hour. Well, 25 minutes. But we'll, we'll go till half hour. So, we've, Oh, yeah, lovely. Oh, that's exactly what I want. Beautiful. Shit. Hardly worth the effort. Lovely. Oh, that's all right. You clumsy fuck. There's a lot of good stuff here. Bloody hell, there's a lot of good stuff. Some places you loot and there's just nothing. It's just like knickknacks and stuff. Other stuff, though, it's nice when you've just got loads and loads of big sacks. Big sacks on your back. Well, I'll just dump that in there for now whilst we go and loot the rest of it. Come along, zombies. Uh, guys, can you help? Is anyone, on the, is anyone on watch at the moment? Can you start doing something? No? Fine. <laughs> Screw you guys. It's not like I'm just getting loads of goodies for you. There's another hoodie zombie. Whoops. Did you hear that hooded zombie? I think you did. You're going to get a meat cleaver to your head. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what's got wrong with that meat cleaver. It's um, It must be blunt or something because I didn't see any chop injuries. And I chopped at him many times. So many bags of fuel though. So that's great. I mean, to be fair, you expect to find bags of fuel at a fuel station, at a gas station. That's a petrol station. Right, still waiting. That's got a little bit more time to go. Then we can build some beds. And I think our survivors will like that. Very much so, yes. Right, put all these bits in. Oh, you're taking a long time. Can you hurry up? I did want to go and have a look at the weapons. Let's uh, see what we can give him. 
So we've got a light crossbow and a classic crossbow. I'm not quite sure which one's the better one at the moment, but I guess there's I guess there's no such thing as really better in this game. I bet it's just some have certain abilities that the other doesn't have. Just check for infestations again. Just check to see what's going on. That's another thing I've realised is constantly checking the map to see what new things are being brought into the world that we have to deal with. Because it's not just inside your base that you've got to contend with. It's... Oh, is that finished? Lovely. Right, let's build our beds. Yeah, beds. Definitely beds. It's so tempting, though, to look at the other stuff and be like, Oh, should I build some of that other stuff? Right, well, that's going to need upgrading as well. Yeah, can't do it. Right. We're losing three food a day. Right, we're going to have to get an ammo outpost, I think. Right, we're, we're looking good for some of the others, though. The other bits. Decent amount of parking spaces here as well. Oh, God. We got another zombie uh, attack. Right, chop you guys up. Can I get some help, please, from anybody? Ooh, yeah, I like that. I'm going to try and start using guns a bit more. I know about, like, the suppressors and stuff. So I will... Upgrade. Oh, I need two people, apparently. I'll upgrade that next time. Right, let's go and find a place, because I think we're about at the end of the episode now. So let's go and find a nice scenic spot to uh, say goodbye. Lovely, right. There we go. New base. All infestations taken care of so far. We're looking good, guys. I'm pleased with it. I'm very pleased with it. Right, we'll deal with those other bits uh, probably next episode. And, um, yeah. Everyone's happy. Things look cheerful. We're on top of it. Beautiful. Right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. And I shall see you, hopefully, on the next one. Thanks, guys. See you later.